so today I wanted to do a quick video. I'm, we're on the road. We're actually going back from uh, uh, from Charleston back up to Charlotte, and my wife had to stop off to do some work in there in Panera. Anyway, and uh, and, and it just reminded me because uh, usually it's always been the other way around. Like you know, it's been uh, I'm always the one who has to uh, you know stop off and work somewhere because I've been a freelancer. And, you know, my wife works in an office, so she usually is the one following me wherever I go someplace. And so that brought me down to, the sub, you know, to this subject that I wanted to talk about, about being a freelancer with a spouse, a boyfriend, girlfriend, a significant other who is not. And the differences and how that can be an issue or a problem. I'm going to try to go somewhere else with fewer cars. Um, and uh, anyway, so, uh, you, you know, and how to deal with that and, um, and, you know, how to have two people that are working basically on different wavelengths and how they can uh, deal with, you know, things along those lines. So I'm not sure where I'm going here. Anyway, uh, just try not to get run over. And um, so, uh, so yeah, so where do I start? So first of all, I like to say, okay, I really need to find a better place. Uh, okay, I'm gonna continue this somewhere else. Okay, this place might be a bit better as long as it doesn't get too loud. Hopefully it's not too loud. I'm kind of right next to the road, but I hopefully you can hear me. And anyway, so I was talking about uh, being a freelancer and having a significant other who isn't. Or maybe you are not a freelancer, but you're with someone who is. And just how to, you know, how to reconcile these two diff very different ways of life. I mean, if you think about it, on the surface, it shouldn't matter. You're a freelancer, you do what you need to do, your spouse maybe works for a company, they do what they need to do, and that's it. Except, obviously, it's not like that at all. And the first thing, the main thing I think that comes to mind is the fact of taking what you do seriously. You know, and so many freelancers, entrepreneurs, people who work for themselves in any form or fashion, you know, the worst things they have from their, and I've even done a video of this about dealing with your friends, you know, who think this way. But whether it be friends here, I'm gonna go a bit more in the middle, hopefully it's a bit more quiet. Um, sorry, we have some loud cars passing by. Here, let's try to do this. Uh, anyway. One of the um, main things is, uh, you know, about taking what you do seriously because what you do is a job and many times they think you're just sitting at home doing nothing all day. That's why I did in the video where people like ask you to pick stuff up for them, to do favors for them and stuff like that and it's really annoying. And this is the same if you have a boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse or anything like that. They'll ask you to do the errands, to buy groceries, to clean up or something because you're just sitting at home doing nothing while they're at work all day. And it really is a change in mentality, especially for the person who's working in the company because let's face it, you as a freelancer, as an entrepreneur working at home, that's kind of the new thing. That's the not standard thing. So it's kind of different and they need to kind of get used to it and accept it. However, having said that, you as a freelancer, as the entrepreneur, also have a duty to take what you do seriously. Like I mentioned before, no one's going to take what you do more seriously than you do. So if you don't take it seriously and treat it as a real job, no one else will. So you have to. And, you know, and that way other people will treat it seriously as well. And if you say, no, no, I have my certain office hours. And if this even means going to a co-working space or to an office or just staying at home but setting aside office hours, closing all doors and being like, I'm getting work done and that's it, then that's how it is. And, you know, you have to be your own boss, meaning you have to be the guy who stands behind your own shoulder and says, get to work, we need this done by 3 p.m. or whatever it is. And um, as long as you take yourself seriously, it's a lot easier to, for other people to take you seriously. And if you don't take yourself seriously with your job, no one else will and so that's to me the main thing you have to do and uh, that and that the spouse has to understand just because you're at home doesn't mean you're twiddling your thumbs and watching TV you're actually getting things done usually a lot more than people in the office who let's face it spend a lot of time talking at the water cooler going out for cigarette breaks or whatever you know stuff like that so I mean um, that's uh, yeah so that's the first thing to keep in mind the second thing is you know I, at this point, it just becomes a, an idea of flexibility. For us, it was a lot of stuff because I like being location independent. And that was an issue with her, with my wife, because she worked at a company. And so we had to figure out, at the beginning she kept working out and I kept doing my thing. But then, and it, it, her job was also really stressful. So she quit that job. And then we were, you know, traveling around for a while. But, you know, just because we're traveling around and living in new places doesn't mean I'm not on, not on the clock. I still am. I mean, I still have to get stuff done. So many times we'd be stopping at coffee shops all over 
um, because I need to get stuff done. And, uh, you know, sometimes the client's like, oh, I need this done, you know, quickly. And so we have to stop at whatever coffee shop. And it just reminded me because we're literally driving and she had to stop here at this Panera Bread because of an emergency with her work, even though today is technically Memorial Day. But, you know, it happens. And it happens so many times with me that I can't not be understanding. And I think so many times we'd be traveling or I mean not many times but it did happen definitely that we'd be traveling I had some emergency I had to find a coffee shop and work and then you know she either would walk I remember at a coffee shop in Taiwan you know and she'd walk around another time in Milan I had to do it and then she hung out with a friend there Monaco too when we were there she hung out with a friend so it's always you know she's always been super nice about it we figured out a way to you know work around it and she doesn't complain because as as you just heard we were in all these different places around the world which was thanks to kind of my lifestyle so just the fact that I need to interrupt every now and then to get stuff done is kind of a small price to pay, if you will. And um, But whatever your situation is, that's the thing. You're going to have to be a bit open-minded about it, both you and your significant other who's not a freelancer. I think more them, and so they need to kind of understand that what you do is real and that there's certain downsides maybe where you might be called to do something last minute, but there are definitely many upsides as well. And ultimately, it's both of you guys' choice to, uh, to be that way. And as long as you have a real business and you're able to earn money and earn a living from it and or you're able to build it up so that eventually you can do that, then yeah, of course it makes sense you do that. Then you need to see with your significant other how you feel if one of you should take their job more seriously or less seriously. I'm not going to go into all the pros and cons and the details about if you want to be location independent and your spouse is working how to go about that also because it's starting to rain so actually i'm going to stop this right now anyway i just wanted to touch upon some of these details about when you're a freelancer you're an entrepreneur and your significant other isn't and some of the issues that can come up and i don't know if you have any of these issues have any of them you know have come up for you or other issues have come up definitely let me know because i would like to hear about them but you know my wife and i have been together now six plus years and she's always been an office worker. I've always been doing my own thing as an entrepreneur, as a freelancer, and it's worked out so far. <laughs> so yeah, I can get into it in another video if you like, but I just want to kind of bring this up just because it came to my mind now on this Memorial Day. And uh, so, but otherwise, I hope all of you guys are doing well and I'll talk to you in the next video. And that's it for now before it starts raining too much. Okay, bye.